John Donne said in a famous poem, No man is an island. Well, we are all depending on each other in a society. And the same comes from our buildings. And in that sense, the we, how we act and how the buildings act, affect our way to consume energy. It's been said many times today, transformation into renewables demand a change in how we use energy. We can't use energy in the top-down approach we've always been doing, from production down to consumption. We need to rethink this a little bit. At the same time, energy is actually too cheap to bother. Seems like an impossible thing to solve. But if we think the energy as a, as a sharing economy, it is actually, with little technology change, the ultimate sharing economy, where we can share every second of the day. But this hasn't been done in a commercial way until now. One thing that's changed is all this. We've heard, seen it many times today. Internet of Things, everything is connected. You can get information about everything. We also talked about you need to enhance the, uh, the information, you ha to enhance this into something else. That's why we talk about the Internet of Smart Things, so you can do something else than look at the information. So what we do is that we transform the energy business through smart sensors, IoT, big data, AI, and blockchain. That's all the buzzwords you've heard today. We do that. Yes. And we do it fully automatic. Actually, we run the largest smart grid with distributed flexibility in Europe already today. It's a cooperative grid. Uh, all the uh, owners of the grid are also the uh, consumers in the grid, 13,000 uh, households. And we do this in a commercial way. It, it's so cheap, actually, uh, <laughs> that the, the board of the grid, the company, said that we will not, thanks to investment in smart grid technology, not in foreseeable time, remember, in foreseeable time, raise the grid tariffs. Have you heard any other grid talking about that? That is true smart grid. Because we do it at a fraction of the cost of competing technologies. And actually, we haven't seen any other technology working that is profitable today. So, how do we do it? Well, think if we had a gadget that could store energy with more than 100% efficiency. Cost less than 40 euro per kilowatt hour in storage capacity and have an infinite number of, of recharging cycles. And it also works best in the winter seasons when we have the mismatch between the load peaks and the renewable production. Some call it a th smart thermostat. We don't. But we need to call it a smart thermostat because that's what every believe it is. It is a control system. It's an echo drive tuning for the home's heating system. And it works with all uh, water-based heating systems for district heating, for boilers, for, for uh, heat pumps. And it's actually the only do-it-yourself system for water-based heating systems. But that is just what's behind, uh, above the surface. Because we do this in a cloud solution. So we connect it with grid load situation, local, regional, national, production forecasts, building dynamics, weather forecasts, market information, and we do it together and make a running schedule for every single home. And we aggregate it, and then we can sell the capacity 
of flexibility on those different markets. And Jan wanted me to do an announcement. So actually today we are also including solar panels, battery storage and car charging into this platform. And we are making it open for everybody to participate in this because we are too small to do it ourselves and the world is too big. But the result of this is actually you can get paid using your energy smarter in the end. But the best is our customers love our products because we in the consumer end don't talk about energy. We talk about improved comfort, control in your pocket and save something on your energy bill because that's what matters for people in the end without they having to care. So that is energy transformation while improving your way of living. We are commercial on the consumer end. We are now investing heavily in the smart grid end that we launch now. And uh, so join our journey to take 50 million homes into the new energy landscape. Thank you. Sounds really good. Uh, do you need more capital? It depends on some of the projects we're doing right now. If we get them, we need some money, yes. Uh, and if you don't get them? Uh, we are actually profitable on, on the business we're doing uh, as such, but we are investing in, in the new technology when it comes to the business to business. So the business consumer is already profitable, but the business to business is something we invest in. So if we get some of the projects, we need to invest. And then how much are you going to need? Uh, um, you already know? Yeah, uh, I've just uh, finished the budget today. Uh, about 1 million euro, so yeah. Okay, yep. 1 million. Yep. That's manageable. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>